Good morning, guys. Hello. We got her coffee. We just got out of the bath and doing some lovely skincare. I was just rinsing off my tan. I'm trying out a, a new tanner. We got some new skincare going on, which I'm going to show you, and some new hair care. I know. It, it was a good PR week. And we got some new makeup. It was a good week in PR. So, anyway, the first thing I was want to show you is the skincare. I just finished filming a IG Reel thing with all this stuff from Dr. Dennis Gross. He they hooked me up. So, we've got the face wash, which is so lovely. It has such a thick, rich emulsification to it. Oh, it feels just very luxurious to cleanse with. I really like this face wash. I don't get that excited about face washes. Occasionally, there's one that just feels so nice on the skin. Uh, the formula, the texture-wise, reminds me of that kombucha one from, shoot, I can't remember the brand. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> it's that same, has the same kind of uh, viscosity to it. It's, it's very thick viscosity. I like that. And yeah, this has AHA and BHA in it, so it's good for cleansing. It's good for anti-aging and acne, so that is Awesome. So yeah, I've been using this and loving it. You can see I have made a little dent in it already. And they also sent over their universal daily peel. This is a two-step little system here and it comes in these little packets and they're little face wipes and you do step one. You wait two minutes and then you do step two. Then step one is exfoliate and smooth and you do this one. You wait two minutes and then you do the step two, which is the anti-aging neutralizer. So it's a, I think a lactic acid or AHA, BHA treatment. And yeah, you don't rinse either one. You just give it the two minutes on your skin and then you go in with this. And yeah, it's a really nice little system. My skin has improved so much. I've been using this for only a week and it is so smooth. Like my pores, I have really congested skin. That has been my struggle forever is skin congestion. This has made such a difference with the congestion and just clogged pores and just the texture. Oh, it's glowy. It's healthy. It looks awesome. <laughs> I really like love this little um, regimen. It's like the first time that something's really helped with the pores and the, uh, the congestion. That's always my struggle is congestion. So yeah. And of course, it also comes with a moisturizer. This is the Alpha Beta Daily Moisturizer. Really, it's a really nice lightweight moisturizer. Great for daytime because it is so lightweight. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's cosmetically pretty. Like it leaves a lovely glow, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. Like you don't feel it on your skin, but it's very nourishing. I am really, really enjoying this one. And this time I've been doing this skincare routine before bed. It's morning currently and the sun's not up yet, but I've been doing this stuff usually at night, but I need to film that reel. And I'll finish everything off with the Advanced Retinol for Rulic Intense Wrinkle Cream over top. Me and uh, Dr. Jess Gross have found a bit of a love affair lately. I hope Cindy Riley doesn't get jealous or Colleen Rothschild, but me and Dr. Jess Gross are having a moment at, right now. And I've also really been enjoying those rock little capsules. I'm just having a good time with skincare, man. I'm enjoying the heck out of it lately. Well, I'm always enjoying skincare, but I'm really enjoying these items right now, especially because I'm really seeing results and it's a lovely feeling. What was I going to show you? Oh, and the new self tan that I'm trying out is the Saint, Saint Tropez <laughs> uh, self tan mousse. This is the Lux Whipped Mousse with I think it has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. And it's like supposed to moisturize and be good for your skin. It's quite a nice uh, formula. I've enjoyed the one use I've had of it. It didn't cling to my patches nearly as bad. My little weird patch I got right here. It didn't cling to it as bad. And it's a really, really pretty color. Very natural looking on me. This is just one layer. Um, I slept in it and I've rinsed it off. It looks really good. And it has a really nice tone that I think I would turn if I tanned. I get a vague, very vague tan. It's, I think this is close to what I would look like with a tan. And yeah, it doesn't have that green undertone that the Bondi Sands has. 
which I know is kind of to balance out the like orange cast. This one, to me, I thought was going to be a little bit orangier, but no, it looks very natural on my skin type and, or skin tone. And this doesn't um, have a shade on it. This is just what it is. It's in like a metal can. It has a really luxe feeling formula. It's kind of rich mousse, like it's thick. <laughs> And it feels really good. It's like smooth on your skin. It's not watery or thin and it spreads so far. A little bit goes such a long way. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this one. I think it's a really good self-tanner. I've always heard such good things about Saint Tropez. I've just never tried them and they sent me that to try out and review. So heck yeah. And then from Aveda, I was sent this little sample of Botanical Repair Strengthening Overnight Serum. So I have put this in my hair overnight. And yeah, I think it uh, made my hair feel good. Like, um, I kind of let my hair air dry before I went to bed. So it's not been blow dried or anything. I think I'm just going to throw some loose curls in it today. But I think it feels really good. It feels healthy. It doesn't feel frizzy or anything. So yeah, this is nice. Now, I don't know if I'll use it before bed every time just because that's inconvenient for me because I don't tend to wash my hair in the evening, even though this is for overnight. I could probably put this in my hair and by the time I get around to blow dry my hair sometimes because I do let my hair air dry a little bit before I get to like styling. I like do some work on the computer and all that kind of thing. I could probably get away with just using this and then do my normal styling. Because it says that, you know, to sleep in it and then do your normal styling routine. Um, I'm not sure if that's necessary to have to sleep in. But anyway, other than that, I think this did a really nice job of my hair. My hair feels good. It doesn't feel weighted down or heavy. It doesn't feel like I put a hair mask in. This feels really, really nice. And it doesn't look like anything other than my hair feels really smooth and healthy. Like my hair feels good. <laughs> so yeah, I like this. It's a shame it's such a tiny thing, but I was surprised how far this went. I still have most of this in here. It only needed like a little tiny bit and it really did spread because it's quite thin and go throughout my hair pretty easily, but I have pretty thin hair, so it wasn't a big deal. I think I get about three more uses out of this probably. But yeah, very nice um, shine to my hair. Good stuff. I think it's better than the K18 um, hair mask stuff. I don't that's okay. I don't think it's worth it for the price, but I do have it and I've, you know, used it. I just don't think it's the, I don't know why it went viral. Let's put it that way. I don't think it's that impressive of a hair treatment, whereas that one I feel like did more for my hair. I think the 8 second Wonder Water does more for one's hair than the K18 does, though. Let's be honest with you. <laughs> That's not a good look, but got a little sweaty there in the bath. Okay, fluff my hair up. I got a bit of dry shampoo in at the root to keep from getting oily while I was bathing and stuff. But yeah, I'm about to go throw a clean shirt on or put a shirt on. I'm in my robe right now and it's way too hot for this fluffy robe. I just don't know where my summer robe is at the moment. I think it's in the wash. So I'm burning up right now. So you take this off and get ready to go film a couple of videos. Um, so I got HBO Max now through AT&T because it was in our contract that we get that free for the uh, length of the contract with AT&T for our cable. No, for our internet. Our internet goes zoom. I'm quite happy with our service so far. I have not been disconnected once. Sendlink has been nothing but pain in the ass. Sendlink has been a pain in the ass since for the last 20 years. Like they've always sucked. And at least now we have like AT&T as an option and they, yeah, half the price, better service, way better service and the free HBO max with it. And I've been watching Flight Attendant, very good, enjoyed that a lot. And now I'm watching Hacks. That show is so funny. I love Gene Smart anyway. So yeah, that show is right up my alley. So I've been watching that and enjoying the heck out of it. Um, I'm going to finish Westworld next. I started it and never finished it. And I think 
I feel like I had another season of Silicon Valley to watch. And I think I had a couple episodes of Veep that I never got around to. So I might go investigate that, but I've added a few <laughs> things to the queue. I'm going to check out Time Tra Traveler's Wife and see if that's any good. Uh, let me know. Do you have any recommendations for HBO Max shows that I need to watch? I like dramedies a lot. Stuff like Flight Attendant. Uh, stuff like Weeds. Like that type of show is what I enjoy. I don't think I'm going to watch <laughs> the new Sex and the City. I don't want to get mad at it. And yeah. Oh, I'm going to watch Euphoria, finally. And that's not my kind of show, necessarily. I don't care about teenagers too much, because I'm a grumpy old lady. But uh, I guess I'll check it out, since everybody's watching it, even people my age are obsessed with it. So I guess we'll, we'll give it a try. I'm definitely behind on that one. But yeah, this has been a very chill week. <laughs> Done nothing. We, um... Yeah, we've done nothing fun. <laughs> my friend visited from out of town and he went home and me, my husband's had a knee flare up or a flare up in his knee. So he's been home and my back's been hurting. So we've just been chilling at home, happy little campers, playing video games, getting work done on the computer, nothing crazy at all. Like I haven't done makeup, nothing. So yeah. We're going to film some videos today, though, and then I'm going to be going with Lila to her doctor's appointment, as per usual. <laughs> um, we got to leave, like, at 7 a.m., and it's currently, like, 4-something, so I need to get a move on, get my video done, and, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to go to her doctor's appointment. We're leaving early because we need to stop and get, like, gas and all that shit, and then... Yeah, we gotta go by her office, do some stuff, and but yeah, it's just not been very exciting. Oh, one thing I did do is I tried the cauliflower wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. I approve. I like them. I use. I'm not a big fan of like using cauliflower as a substitute for much or zucchini. Like I like them on their own for what they are, but I don't like using them as substitutes very often. <laughs> if the texture, I don't like the, it just never works for me, right? Those cauliflower wings fucking worked for me. <laughs> I liked them. I liked the texture. So Lila hated them because she didn't like the texture. I loved them. And then she got a really shitty salad, which is part for the course of Buffalo Wild Wings. Our Buffalo Wild Wings sucks. <laughs> like, we usually don't go there. They just didn't have a crowd this last Sunday and me and Lila were out and we needed lunch. And we started to go to IHOP. And there was going to be a 30 minute wait. We looked at each other like, <laughs> not for IHOP we ain't waiting. Oh no. No, you ain't that good. So we walked next door to Buffalo Wild Wings and probably should have waited at IHOP. Because <laughs> it wasn't that great. Yeah, I got to find a clean shirt because I'm, I'm burning up. Okay. I'm going to get dressed. And I'll meet you guys in the studio. Okay, we just finished up filming. And yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, new stuff from Sephora I want to show you. Duh, kind of blanked there for a minute. I got the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer, which I've got on my skin now. It's a little light for my self-tan, but I put a lot of bronzer on, so hopefully it looks all right. I think it's a pretty product. It's pretty light coverage, has a nice glow. I like it. I like the packaging as well. I like how it's kind of got this little indent here. It makes it easy to grip to open. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, Sephora sent me, uh, they let me pick two things for an Instagram thing. So that's why I got this. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury new bronzer, which is the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. This has, I think, hyaluronic acid in it. Is that what the claim was? Yeah. Hyaluronic acid and vitamin D. It's a bit hard to open but it's a cream product but to me it's almost like a more of a putty product like I've used it and look at the indent still in it or the, the embossing is still there it's very like firm and stiff like you can't really squish it I mean you could but I don't want to but yeah this is the medium color it's pretty nice like even it not being the palest shade I think it's a pretty good color for me it's really good with self tan so yeah, that's what I've got on for my bronzer today. And I've actually taken it on a large brush and just kind of really 
apply a little more liberally and more like in a bronzer fashion. I did film doing all that. Ooh, I did film doing all that in like a first impressions. And on the lips today, just to uh, let you know, is the shade Tease from Milani in their matte fetch line. This is the newest addition to my collection. Oh, and I tried out the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. It's just a mascara. Like, I mean, it's pretty. You can see what it looks like here on my little eyeballs, but I mean, I think you can get a mascara that does exactly the same thing anywhere. And I also got a sample of the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and Light Revealer, which I'm pretty excited to test out. Um, it looks really pretty when I swatched it. But yeah, that's what's going on in the face today. And oh, I've dipped into old, good old Gemini here into some of these neutrals. Yeah, so I kept the eyes and everything very, I don't know, like everyday-ish looking and kind of soft. I don't know. I think it's, it's a pretty look, but it's a very minimal look and very kind of skin, natural, clean, no makeup, makeup on the skin but a little something on the eyes and lips. But yeah, I, I do have to, part of the uh, copy or whatever, the requirements, I guess, for these products from Sephora, they let me pick like two products from a list and uh, it's to do like no makeup makeup with these. So yeah, and I just have to include these, but I can do whatever else. But uh, I wanted to have a little more fun today with makeup, but I do have an idea and I think that's, that'll be tomorrow. I'm going to do it as a, I mean, Instagram story. I'm not sure. I have to make a story. That's one of the deliver deliverables is a story and an IG post. So yeah, I'm about to go get some coffee. I'm waiting for the coffee shop to open at six. And, and I leave at seven. Oh, goodness. I'm drinking water, being a good girl here. Me and Lila found these at, I think, Marshalls? Yeah, Marshalls. Chocolate covered blueberries. They're so good. They're delicious. Like, they remind me of Raisinets. Really good. I don't know what it is, but these weird chocolate covered fruits that I find at random stores, but I like them. What is that? Um, I got mascara on my finger. Either way, I, mm, yeah, these are tasty. But yeah, I just got to put my pants on and I'm ready to go. And I finished the Expanse books and I'm having withdrawal from that. I'm like, I'm sad. I loved them so much. That universe was just so lovely. Not really lovely, but I loved the universe of the expanse. So now I'm watching the show <laughs> and nitpicking because things are slightly different. Um, but I'm starting Alter Carbon is the uh, book I'm reading now, which I love the show of Alter Carbon. And there's three books, so I'm going to read those now. I started the first one. I like the way it's written so far. Um, very descriptive. Nice nice writing style. And if I like it, I'll continue that series. I mean, I know I like the show, so. Uh, oh, and the last book in the Amaranth series is out as well. So I've downloaded the sample of that, so I'll remember to buy the <laughs> book after I finish Ultra Carbon. I might get it now and then go into Altered Carbon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the Chaotica book. But that's another one I'm reading. It's called Chaotica. And it's, I think, the 19th book in the series, from the Amaranth series. It's a kind of a, if you took every sci-fi story and mushed them together, that's these books. Like, it's everything thrown into one series, space opera. It's a little cheesy, a little predictable. Very Mass Effect like, but also just really fun, light read. I really enjoy it. <laughs> it's got romance, it's got humor, it's got it's got everything in it. So it's a good series. And I mean I've read 19 of the books. I obviously liked it. I mean it's got literally a little bit of everything in it. <laughs> it's such a huge universe that the writer has built. It's pretty impressive. Oh, and I've um there's some novellas that go with the Expanse, I think I'm going to read as well. We should talk about books more. I don't know why I don't talk about what I'm reading. People like to talk about that, don't they? I read so much. We should talk about books. But all I read is sci-fi. So, yeah.
Hello. It has been practically a week since I um, have checked in <laughs> and vlogged. Oh, okay, so <laughs> what had happened was Friday afternoon, I got some pain in my bladder and it turned into a full-blown bladder infection and I had to go to urgent care and it was a whole thing and I was in a lot of pain. But I... <laughs> I'm 100% now. I'm all better. But yeah, that was not a fun weekend for me. But I did spend the entire weekend watching Euphoria, binged it, fell in love with that show. Oh my god. I, yeah, that show's amazing. I get it. The show, it's awesome. It's the, the cinematography, the story, everything is great. And I've seen a lot of people say, well, my high school experience wasn't like that. And I was thinking about it, I was like, well, my personally wasn't quite like that. Like, we weren't going to wild parties getting shit-faced and, you know, OT and all that Oxycontin. But, uh, those things certainly did happen. They were accessible. It was around. It just wasn't something that my personal little friend group were doing. But that, yeah, my high school experience wasn't that far off. I was much more of a... I think, wait, yeah, in high school, I was kind of straight edge, and then I think the worst thing I did was smoked and drank. But, like, I don't know. We just weren't wild in my little friend group. We were very chill. But I absolutely just loved Zendaya in that show. Oh, my goodness. That girl can act. Like, she had to have studied people going through withdrawal, and, man, it was so realistic. Some of the, the things that she went through incredible acting all the girls incredible actresses and uh Maude Apatow's character I liked her a lot I loved her and her and Fez uh Flexi I think they called them <laughs> Fexy is that what they're calling Fez and Lexi yeah sexy Flexi Flexi either way they're so cute together and I can't wait for season three I cannot wait for season three I loved it and I also finished the show Hacks I don't know if I told you about that one. I don't know if I mentioned watching that one. That's the one with Jean Smart, and where she um, is a kind of Joan Rivers type comedian that has the Vegas residency and ends up working with a new younger writer and all that. That show was really cute and worth watching. I enjoyed it. Um, can you tell I'm just binging through HBO Max shows? Because that's what I'm doing. I caught up on Pretty Little Liars. This is what I did while I was sick. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, not Pretty Little Liars. What the fuck am I talking about? Big Little Lie. <laughs> I watched Big Little Lie, which I, I like that show, but it's not like a favorite show, but I got caught after the end of season one. I was like, well, I gotta see what the fuck's gonna happen. So, yeah, I had to watch season two of that. Now I'm catching up on Westworld. <sighs> but Euphoria, I loved it. And, oh, Time Traveler's Wife. I'm really enjoying that as well. Uh, I kind of want to wait and not watch it as they come out and then binge it later because I, I just like to binge things. I don't want to have to wait a week. So I watched the first three episodes and just, oh, that show, it made me cry. It made me laugh. It was all the things. I loved it. Um, did I mention I also really like Flight Attendant? So anyway, yeah, I've just been watching stuff on HBO Max while I uh, recovered from my fun bladder infection <sighs> yeah that hurt it was very painful and I mean it's not like the first time I've ever had one or anything but they usually kind of just go away on their own I've never had to go to urgent care over one this time I had to go to the urgent care because it was about it'd been two days it wasn't getting any better so it's like um, I think I need uh, some antibiotics and they gave me some other medication to help with pain that will turn your pee neon yellow, so that's really fun. Or neon orange, rather. That's a nice bathroom surprise. It's just, <laughs> it was like, they warned me, but nobody can warn you for the color that's gonna come out of you after you take that stuff. It's called Peridium. Which I think you can get over the counter. It's like as Azo stuff. I didn't know that was an over the counter medication and what it was for, but yeah, <laughs> that helped immediately like I took one dose of that and oh my gosh most of the pain was gone I just had like a slight twinge after that because it was like 
get to that point where it was hurt and just aching like my lower abdomen and everything just hurt and I was starting to get like nauseous and kind of felt it going towards the kidneys into my back so that's that's why I went to urgent care because I could feel it getting to the kidneys and it was so funny because I was watching that episode of Euphoria when Rue gets a bladder infection <laughs> it goes to her kidneys and I'm sitting there I'm like girl yeah I fucking feel you ow <laughs> I'm sitting there on the couch just like mm -hmm. but anyway that's what <laughs> cut my weekend short and my day my blogging short because I just couldn't person um, but anyway, yeah, I haven't missed much other than that. <laughs> it started Friday afternoon when me and Lila were after her doctor's appointment. And yeah, went from there. But I did come here. I actually did be a little bit productive and tidied up the back of, tidied up my little uh, background here. It kind of changed things up. So I'm going to show you what I've done here like I kind of made it a little more minimal so all you see is just this on one side of me and then on the other side you just see this and then the white curtain I just I feel like it was time for a little bit of a change and kind of an update so I think this looks really nice this my body hides so yeah then I have this mess that is my hair stuff <laughs> and this awful looking uh, it looks so crappy because it doesn't have a shade on it, but the light I use to light my background. Don't judge, okay? We, we make it work over here. And there's a pumpkin in her little bed. What are you doing? Hey, pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. There you are. You want to say hello? Say hello, vlog. Hi, guys. Say hello to your fans. You're, you know they're all here for you. Anybody who watches this vlog is watching for you. Aren't you cute? Did you have a lovely night with me? It's just a mama and pumpkin night. Yeah. We've been taking her every morning with us when we go get breakfast. Well, I don't know why we've been going to McDonald's every morning. Because I just... My husband is hungry when he's off work, so I usually just get a coffee. And, yeah, we bring her along because she loves to go in the car. And this McDonald's has like a hundred cats that live there. I, no, really, there's like a ton of dumpster cats that live there. And they live in like the woods behind the building. And people feed them. I've seen people bringing cat food and like dumping it out, feeding them. They are very well cared for feral kitties. And they're all black, except for like two that are orange. They're little Halloween cats. But this little goose, she likes to say hello to them every morning. Ask her if she wants to go see the kitties at McDonald's. And she looks out the window at them. She doesn't bark or anything. She just looks at them all sweet. Oh, because we're a sweet puppy. Because we're a sweet puppy. And it's, it's just very cute. She gets so excited to see them. But yeah, people feed them. No one's mean to them. Like they're they're cared for, even though they're outside kitties, and they just lay out in the back of the parking lot by the drive-through, out of the way, and you can see them. And they're just they're very cute, and she loves them. And then I got my mess right here, that was from my last video. <laughs> I just finished filming, but it's been like two things for Instagram, like uh, kind of. I don't know if I'm gonna make reels out of them. Or just kind of some like IG, TV, whatever. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know anymore. But anyways, I did that and filmed a favorite Bath & Body products that are affordable and like accessible. Well, not really. I don't, I don't like seeing affordable, but I can't think of another word to use. Low cost? Because I think saying cheap just sounds shitty, you know? So, anyway... Yeah, I filmed that. I kind of fumbled through that one. It's a little off my game because I haven't filmed it a little while. So it's like, eh, gotta kind of get back to it. But I've slept a lot. I think, you know, when you're sick with something, you just sleep. I almost slept like, oh my gosh, like 19 hours, I think, on and off. One day when I was hurting and just, it, yeah, it was all, it was all I could do was just sleep and I was so tired like I just wanted to go to bed when I went to urgent care I was so miserable 
I don't know what I'm going to get into today necessarily. I don't think I'm doing anything really today. I'm going to try to work on the computer a bit. Um, import this footage. I uh, really need to go get groceries at some point. Because I'm out of like everything. We'll see what we get into when my husband gets home from work today. Yeah, it's just not been very exciting and not a whole lot worth of vlogging around here because I have hardly got off the couch. <laughs> and today is like the first day I've like came in here and did anything aside from just tidying up the background behind me. And I think, yeah, I did that this morning before I went to bed. I was just um, planning on staying up and filming and then I was like, nah, I'm tired. Nah. So I slept pretty late today trying to get back around on a day schedule. I think I'm going to stay up for as long as I can today and work my way around. I got, when I got sick with the bladder stuff, it just kind of messed up my schedule because I just kind of slept all day because I just didn't feel good and it totally threw me off. Like I was back on a day schedule and then that happened. Mm, it was horrible. I set the layoff coffee, which you know was not fun for me and just drink water. <sighs> But anyway, I'm back on my coffee bullshit today. Well, I've had like small coffee from McDonald's every morning. But they were just little, you know, not much. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go fuck around on the computer. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I fell asleep with my makeup on. And also my hands are stained purple a little bit, but once I take my bath, the purple will come off. But you guys just saw me throw some toner in my hair. I was tidying up in here, uh, gathering up jewelry and shit that I've just thrown on the countertop, kind of organizing skincare, putting away stuff from other videos back in the drawer where it belongs, all that jazz and all that. I got distracted doing, I was going to take a bath. That's was, that was my whole plan. So I'm just going to take a bath. I was going to drink some hot coffee in the bathtub, start my day out, which I've already had breakfast and been up for a little while, like a couple hours. But anyway, it's still dark out. <laughs> I got pretty early. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my makeup off because I want to talk to you about the Soap and Glory Balm to Milk Cleanser. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. This is called the Glow Your Mind with vitamin C and a blend of tender loving oils. This is, you know, a pre-cleanse type product or a double cleanse product. I feel like the name is misleading because there's like, what is the actual name of this? There's so many different names on here. But I guess it is the Soap and Glory Glow Your Mind Cleansing Balm. Okay, here we go. It, there's so much labeling on here. It's like, where's the actual name of the product? <laughs> What in the hell? But 
Okay, this one has taken the cake as far as accessible drugstore. How my my quotations are just like a drugstore product goes. The this one has been really really nice. I think I like it better than the first one. Well, I do like it better than the first one. I like it better than the pixie one because you get so much more product. And this one feels so pillowy and soft. It is such a nice formula. It works great. It's just, there's something very pillowy about it. I don't know how to describe it other than it's just silky smooth, creamy, oily goodness. And it breaks down makeup so well and it's not a bad price point. I get it. Walgreens, I like the or the scent that it has. I don't think it's really fragranced, but it smells like fresh florals. It reminds me of like going into a florist shop. I kind of like it. <laughs> Which some people may also associate with a funeral home. But <laughs> anyway, I think it smells really good. It smells like fresh flowers. But it's very, very subtle. Like it's not in your face. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do this because I did have some SPF on and skincare and stuff as well as a little bit of foundation and some other products. But see, it just make, breaks down your eye makeup super easy. It's just so lovely to use. It's very nice. It's up there at the Colleen Rothschild as far as a lovely texture. And just, oh, it feels good. It feels good. My skin feels very hydrated. After I use that, even when I double cleanse, my skin still feels super hydrated with this. I'm enjoying the poop out of it. I'm gonna finish doing my double cleanse in the bath. But I just wanted to go ahead and do this. Let me wet my little makeup eraser. I'll go ahead and do a double cleanse with actual cleanser in the bathtub. I'll get in there, but I wanted to go ahead and just get that off and talk to you about this cleansing balm because it's so so nice I am just on a quest I guess to try every cleansing balm I find at the drugstore are affordably and popular ones just to compare and contrast see which ones I think is the best value and the best product all around and I gotta say I think the Sepa Glory is really nice I would pick it over the Clinique take the day off uh, the only thing that would compete with this so far in my mind would honestly be the Colleen Rothschild, which is quite a bit <laughs> more expensive than this one. Like the packaging is not as luxurious on Soap and Glory. I think they're kind of cutesy, but that's just their style. Like it's not the packaging I'm attracted to, but at the end of the day, packaging's packaging. The product is fantastic with it. And I've tried a couple of things from Soap and Glory now. Like I have actually really enjoy them. I've heard, you know, good things about them. I want to check out like maybe some of their body lotions or something and body care products because I really like the bath oil I got from them quite a bit. And I realize I don't buy a whole lot of body care aside from stuff from like Bath and Body Works. And I was doing a video about Bath and Body stuff that I get like at Walmart and Walgreens and was, I only had one no, two lotions technically, and both were from Gold Bond. And one was like more of a medicinal one for eczema <laughs> that I just need to include. And one is just a purely nice, cosmetically beautiful lotion from a Gold Bond, the Radiance one. But anyway, I was like, you know, I haven't tried that much from many brands, like haven't branched out a lot as far as Bath and Body goes. Anyways, it's because I just wasn't a lotion person for a long time, and now I've kind of gotten more into it. So that's not a very long video. I don't think I don't have that many products, but I do have some hero products, so that's why I wanted to do that video. I've got bump right there. It's so annoying. Just a little tiny, like, pimple. But I'm so happy with my skin right now. Aside from this little friend, holy crap, this Dr. Dennis Gross three-step set kit that I've been using. I still can't get over how great my skin is doing and how clear 
my pores look and just like my fine lines have been reduced dramatically <laughs> like I'm floored <laughs> like I have this crease right here a line right here and it's gotten so much better looking and like I don't have much little whiteheads right there anymore and these my little leavens are so much like <sighs> less deep <laughs> They look fantastic and like around my eyes looks great. I am just, that's the, the most amazing skincare range I've ever tried where it's just immediate results so fast and I'm just so <laughs> impressed with it. Like I like a lot of skincare and enjoy it, but I've never seen something show such dramatic results so quickly. It's really impressive. And like, you know, I've used like anti-aging stuff and a lot of preventative things, but that has just made, I don't know, just the hugest change in my skin texture. Wow. And like I said, I use a lot of different skincare lines and try out a lot of skincare. And that has really impressed the shit out of me. I'm so tickled with it. Oh. Oh gosh, my nose has been itching. I've got like allergy stuff going on still. And I don't know if I was kind of had a mild allergic reaction to my antibiotic or not. I'm allergic to just about every antibiotic that exists. My throat was kind of itchy and sore feeling, which sometimes happens when I'm having an allergic reaction to an antibiotic. So anyway, thankfully I was finished with it <laughs> and it was very mild and took days before I start to notice anything. So yeah, my, my bladder infection's all better too. <laughs> Just do a soda out there. But anyway, I'm about to take a bath, wash my hair, kind of get my day started out right. And I think, I feel like today is just a day to start the day with a bath. I saw like an article, maybe it's on like Poosh or whatever, one of those, the Kourtney Kardashian website. I kind of like that website. I like the articles. They're they're kind of vapid. They're not, but they're trying to be deep. But like, it's just very goop knockoff, which I think goop is fucking ridiculous. Like I can't stand Gwyneth Paltrow. I think she's a moron. <laughs> but I enjoy this website just because it's like those stupid type cosmopolitan type articles, you know, that are just entertaining to read a little bit, but sometimes they have something interesting. I like to read like the ones about like morning routines and stuff. But anyway, there was one talking about benefits of taking a hot bath. And one of the benefits was uh, in the morning, it kind of can kickstart your metabolism a little bit. And I was like, hmm, you know, that's a pretty cool idea. And it recommended actually starting your day out with a hip bath to kind of get your blood flowing and stuff. And I have found while I do get a little sleepy after baths, I do have good days when I take a bath in the morning. And, you know, if you have time to do that, it's nice. Not everybody has time to sit down and take a bath, though, when they wake up. So, I'm a lady at leisure. So, there's a piece of glitter on my bed, and it just distracted the crap out of me all of a sudden. Like, it's just huge chunk of glitter and I'm just like transfixed all of a sudden just what is that but I was swatching some glitter yesterday so <laughs> there's a big clump of glitter on my sheets <laughs> such a weird thing the light is catching it so perfectly and it looks like almost like a little ember it's crazy looking but anyway yeah, I know like not everybody has like time for a full on hot bath every morning, but I do think it might be something worth getting up a little early to do. You get up early to work out and do this and that. Like, imagine you get up early. Like this is an ideal routine that is not attainable. <laughs> imagine getting up early, extra early to go to the gym like three times a week. And on those two days that you don't go to the gym, you take a hot bath in the morning. That would be nice. That would be, I would enjoy that if I had an actual routine and could stick to one. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. I didn't, I almost did stick to one for 30 days. 
kind of went to crap, but I'm trying. All right, I'm gonna start my bath water and get this hair washed. I just let my mask, hair mask, hang out for a bit. This is the Madison Reed Perla shade in their hair toning mask. And I just put that through my blonde bits to kind of get them toned down a little bit because they're looking a little brassy. All right, I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a bit while I throw a little bit of quick skincare on. I'm actually gonna go grab groceries and do that before I sit down and like film for the day and all that, just because it's convenient to just go ahead and get it done now before I decide I'm too tired and don't feel like doing it <laughs> later on in the day. I did pick up a couple of things while I was at the store yesterday. I ran in Walgreens, of course. I go there like once a week, but anyways, NYX has a new primer for your eyes. Anyways, it said new on the display, and uh, yeah, so I got this to try out. I'm not going to use it right now, but I just want to show it to you. It says it's new, and this is a shadow liner primer, and it come in like four shades, so I got the lightest one. So I went ahead and opened it. Let's just see here. It looks like a very light concealer shade kind of disappears into nothing but feels like uh, the milani shadow primer and texture so yeah high hopes um i think i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter the nars one because i'm kind of done with it <laughs> and my milani one's almost empty so it was time for a, a re-up on eye primer anyway but yeah that feels like it's got a nice kind of tackiness to it but it's still a Blendiness. Oh, it has a nice texture. I have high hopes for that. It feels good. I also picked up this glow skin tint from Milani. They had Milani on sale. And Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands. If I haven't mentioned that already, if you haven't noticed, I really enjoy Milani products. And uh, yeah, this was, this is the Fair to Light shade. This has 29% squalane in it and electrolytes, coconut water. Ooh, I don't know about that. I, my skin reacts when I eat a coconut sometimes. But I think this was, this looked really pretty. This is a hydrating skin tint. Now I was thinking this was just like a primer, highlighter, glowy, kind of like a flawless filter type product, but they're marketed as like a uh, light foundation almost. So anyway, very sheer. I think it only comes in like two shades, but it does have a tint to it. I have already kind of swatched this when I got home yesterday, but here's a little tiny bit. You see it does have a little, teensy bit of a tint to it and it looks really pretty it has a really pretty glow it's kind of, it's not quite as um over the top as you'd expect it to be it's very it's a subtle nice skin glow like it's not quite as glowy i think as the glotion from l'oreal and not quite as shiny as flawless filter but it is pretty maybe if you applied more it might be a little more glowy so yeah i don't think i'm gonna throw this on while I go to the store just to see how it looks on the skin. And I also uh, picked up the Wet Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I've heard so many good things about this and it's so affordable or such a low price point. We got to give this a try and just see what it's all about. So I got the lightest shade, which is pale, I believe. Yeah, fair pale. Um, this has hyaluronic acid and squalane. Also, lightweight, non-greasy finish. Uh, everyone's raved about this, so I had to see what the hype is about. And I do think the finish looked really pretty when I swatched it on the back of my hand. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and give you a little swatcheroo. It looked like it had a really nice amount of coverage. Look at that. That's a good bit of coverage. Like, that's a good medium coverage, it looks like to me. So yeah, I'm excited to give that a go, but yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do that another day and test that out with you guys at some point or another. But today I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of that Milani glow to run to the store. And then I'm gonna actually film a makeup video when I get home and an empties video and yeah. And last thing I picked up though was the Milani Make It Last with the SPF 30. Because I have been using the Super Goop one with SPF 40, but sometimes this one burns my skin. It's a little bit greasy feeling sometimes, like it's a little heavy. 
and it's not always a product that I want to use. To me, this is a more of a special occasion product, like as in I'm going to be outside all day in the sun type of thing. It's, it's heavy, and sometimes if I have like a little pimple or something like this, or it gets near my eyes, it really burns, and it has a pretty unpleasant scent. I mean, it's not a bad product, it's just, it's got some caveats to it. So, I saw this one from Milani, which is a little bit of a lesser SBF, but I was wondering if this would be a good one for like kind of an everyday product. Uh, it's not quite as thick, but it does have a bit of an oily feel to it. It's got the strong, oh, the strong SPF smell. Almost bug spray like, so yeah, there's that. But it doesn't feel quite as heavy, but it has more of that dry oil greasiness. <laughs> more like the spray on SPFs do, and it has a definite glow. But I'm wondering if it won't be quite as strong uh, and like burn my skin. So we're gonna give this one a try. It has those ingredients right there. It will focus on them. There you go. So you can see what type of SPF it is. And it appears that the super group is the exact same. Just a little bit less. Like, I mean, point percents less. But it looks like the exact same ingredients. So here's the super goop one. Like, this just has like the 0.9 or a 0 0.5, 0 0.8 uh, more. It's a very, very minimal difference in ingredient deck. But I wanted to see if the formulation was maybe a little bit different because the super goop one does feel a bit heavier. You really gotta shake it up. And it's leaky. That's fun. Just went everywhere. So it's still, it's got quite a smell to it too. But it feels a bit oilier. Yeah, I think the Super Goop one is just a bit oilier, a little bit glowier. Whereas the Milani one is similar. But yeah, it's it's not quite as um, oily feeling. So it might be a better one for every day. And it does claim to actually make your makeup last longer, whereas this one's a more of a refreshing spray. But I would prefer maybe this one just for the day-to-day. -day. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. Let's throw on some of this Milani Glow and see how it looks. Uh, I should probably do a little bit of SPF though, since I am about to run out the door, but I don't wanna do like my full skincare because I am gonna wash my face when I get back to film my actual video. <laughs> so let me just throw a bit of an SPF on. I'm gonna put some of my Moroccan, uh, Josie Marin. I'm trying to use this one up, I forgot I had it. I really need to use it up because it's gonna expire soon. Let's throw some of this on and see how it does. Get a little squirt out. I think I'm gonna apply it with fingers. Yeah, that does have a bit of coverage intent to it, like Flawless Filter does. But I don't think it has quite a strong a glow at all. Yeah, it's not nearly as glowy as Flawless Filter, but it's pretty. It's definitely pretty and does have that little bit of coverage like Flawless Filter has. It has that slight tint to it. I do like this has some nice skincare within. Yeah, it's pretty on the skin. Yeah, it's a pretty product. I, I like that. I don't think it's a necessarily a Flawless Filter dupe. Unless you want something a little less glowy. But just a nice illuminating primer. I think this would be good. Or just something to throw on your face that has a nice a little bit of glow. But yeah, not quite as impressive as Floss Filter. But not bad. I think it looks, it looks pretty. It evened out my skin just a touch. It's alright. I'm not blown away. But I feel like it's a nice wearable, kind of subtle glow if you don't want too much. It look, Your skin looks hydrated. And I do like that it has all the skincare within. So, yeah. Not bad, not bad. It might get a little glowier as it sits on the skin. It kind of looks like it is. Yeah, that's pretty. As far as any coverage goes, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of concealer on my under eyes. I'm gonna use a touch of a True Match here. Eye cream and a concealer. All right, I think that's all I really wanna 
put on my face as far as coverage goes. I think I'm just going to put some brows on. And lately I have just been like really into my Wet n Wild micro brow pencil. The color of this one is just so perfect. It really is kind of the perfect shade. Alright, and for a little bit of color on the face and bronze, blush, highlight, all that, I'm going to use this e.l.f. palette that I loved last year so much and it's been sitting next to me over here to use this year and I have for, kind of forgotten about it. It's gotten pushed to the back because I've gotten so many other lovely products that I've been playing with. But this is that e.l.f. Electric Mood Cream Palette. I mean, these colors are gorgeous, so I just I really want to dip in here and play with it, get some use out of it before I have to let it go because, I mean, it's got a six-month shelf life. Jeez. Technically, this should already be expired. <laughs> oh, well. Get me a cream brush. All right, I'm going to go into the bronzer first. Just to dab a little bit into that. 